though you're a fan of Colby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know it's funny. I actually used to watch a lot of his like videos, especially like mm-hmm. uh, motivational videos. I'm sure yeah. you probably see. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a lot of motivational Kobe videos, and like yeah. just his mentality and all that. Yeah, mama mentality, right? Mama mentality, yes, sir. Yeah. Black mamba. Yeah. Hey, you know, um, I, I don't know. There's like so many stories of his where he would like just be working so hard. His work, <laughs> his work ethic was different. Totally different. Yeah, um, I think a lot of a lot of people can definitely relate to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of stories where like basketball players say like, oh, they come into the gym, Kobe's there. They leave the gym, he's still there. Like his dedication for sure. Yeah. I think it's really important because especially for any like sport really, I think the best way to really get good at it is to drill and just drill mm-hmm. a lot constantly. Mm-hmm. I think it's also your like mentality towards it it's like do i have to do this or do i get to do this That's it's like point, yeah. do i have to wake up or do i get to wake up yeah yeah that's true i mean you are worse if you couldn't wake up right right exactly so yeah. it's like the way you look at things it, it affects you a lot yeah and i i think like with him it's he really embodied what Mm -hmm. chasing greatness really is right yeah and like without taking any easy right like routes so like we all know he stayed a laker faithful so that comes with ups and downs it's not just like smooth sailing right yeah and he also stayed after even after like Shaq retired just to prove Mm -hmm. that he didn't need Shaq right Mm -hmm. yeah that's just like you have to have, like, the dog in you, you know? Like, certain things just have to, like, set you off, like, that won't set the normal person off. Yeah. I think a lot of, like, a lot of, like, men in general could for sure relate to them. Because mm-hmm. that competitive, like, spirit. Yeah, the competitive nature. Yeah. Which, unfortunately, I feel like it's somewhat lost nowadays. It's low-key, like, like, diminishing, Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't think a lot of a lot of dudes are willing to really work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like they mostly either want to as pretend to work for, mm-hmm. or they are they're like acting like they're working for when in reality they're not. I don't know if this is true or not, but I feel like social media plays a role in that for like Ever. the acting part because oh, yeah. most of these like athletes that are like working that hard or like trying to make it to that professional level right so they also have like to have that social media presence as well sometimes like one's higher than the other yeah that's actually a good point because well Kobe kind of lived in yeah because Kobe kind of lived in that era where it was like I mean social media was just coming up but he also lived in the era like right before too you know Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, I mean, a lot of these stories you hear of his work ethic, it's not even from like himself per se. It's like other people relating it. Yeah. Right? yeah. So it's like with him and during like that time period, you couldn't really like fake it as much. Right? Mm-hmm. right. So I think I think you do have a point there with like how social media can like in a way like uh, build up this facade of hard work, right? Mm-hmm. yeah which is like it's also fair play because like that's the world we live in you gotta make it like any means possible no that's true i think a lot of the, i think when a lot of dudes they see this it's like like they think that they need to work but like maybe the person that is preaching that may not even be working that hard right now. Mm, yeah yeah I feel like if you ever want to like say something to someone, look at yourself first. Like if you're doing that thing or not, or if you're not doing that thing or not. Right. So before it's like you, you, you look at me first. 
in yeah. that aspect of things. But um, with Kobe, man, like, he was just a go-getter. Like, I remember I seen, like, a picture of him in his, like, PJs with, like, a broken hand, finger, and, like, still practicing his free throws. So, like, some people would think, oh, I have a broken hand. Like, I could relax, just let it heal. I would probably do that, too. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, I mean, but seeing that, like, that makes me think now, like, oh, no, nah, actually, you could be doing that, too. Like, you should be doing that. That was true. So it, it adds so motivation, really, yeah. I don't know what you were saying. <laughs> no, go ahead. I don't know. I was just saying, like, he really embodied that, like, aspect of no excuses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't Which know is, like, I feel, like, great for the youth. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. Because one thing that he did say that, well, like, what essentially is greatness is inspiring the next generation. Mm-hmm. But, which, I like that, yeah. Um, yeah, which, unfortunately, it seems like, <laughs> like, unfortunately, like, I guess, like, our generation or... Our generation, generation, yeah. Right, like, they're not as inspired do mm-hmm. great things mm-hmm. right they just want to stay at the mediocre like average yeah, yeah, yeah um that given also i feel like this generation has so much potential yeah because i mean um i do coaching for like little kids i really love that. basketball yeah and like i'd be i'd be like talking to these kids and like sometimes they just like blow my mind like it's crazy what the things they say and like good things obviously yeah. so yeah i feel like specific examples or not um specific examples like one of the girls she just went to india right and she yeah. came back and she was just telling me things that like i've never even heard of and like even thought of and she was just like explaining it with like every detail she was only like 11 so i was just thinking like (laughs) that couldn't have been me when i was 11 i was just doing dumb things oh yeah yeah like she was like giving intricate details like i was like (laughs) this is like a tourist guide or something really yeah it's pretty cool actually Mm -hmm. yeah i mean i feel like this generation for sure like you said has that potential but i don't think as many people are Unlocking it as they should be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think a lot of it also has to do, at least, like, obviously, as men, we can speak, right? That I think a lot of it is, it's kind of like pushed down, you know, and looked down mm-hmm. upon, right? Mm-hmm. And just in general, there's a lot of discouragement, right, from pursuing something that is, I guess, like extraordinary. Right. Um, I feel like that, like, I don't know if it's the parents or like with what's going on, like with everything, like everything that happened in like the past couple of years. Um, I don't know. I like it's, I, you could definitely see it. It's noticeable. Um, there's a sense of like cautiousness going on, I guess. Yeah. yeah. But if I had to like, dude, if you have a dream or like something that you really, really enjoy, go after it, like chase that to any, like to the very end. Everyone thinks like life is like a smooth plane. There's going to be ups and downs, like rivers you're going to have to cross, like, Life's not easy. It's not. That's true. That's true. Because, um, I mean, I, like you said, like it could be parents. It could be something else. I think it's like a bunch of things all together. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, like you said, that, I mean, and the history displays that that whoever usually is the one that's chasing greatness is the one that's rewarding with it. Mm-hmm. Right. So, like, (laughs) there's, like, a basketball saying. um, You miss 
a hundred percent of the shots that you don't take. Yeah. Right. And like, yeah. I tell like my students, this, you miss this one. It's okay. Shoot the next one. You're going to make it. If you miss that one, who cares? Shoot it again. You're going to make it eventually. So like, it's yeah. not like, don't dwell on the past of like on your failures or whatever. Learn from them and move on. Learn from it, move on. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Because, I mean, yeah, you mess up once, but from that, you can learn a lot more than you might learn from victory, right? Mm -hmm. Kareem Abdul Jabbar said, You got to learn how to lose first to learn how to win. Yeah. No, that, that's, a, that's a really good saying. And it's, that's honestly true. It is. It is. And like, any given aspect, not just basketball. Yeah. No, in life in general, I think that's a very good aspect. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah. people don't want to lose. <laughs> they just want to yeah. win right away. Yeah, no, that's true. 